Okay, here's a realistic cassette deck. It has a no line fuse in it for overcurrent protection. And there is the UL mark. And here is the uh, power supply. The power comes in and it goes straight to the transformer without any overcurrent protection. So we're going to look at the plug. It's not polarized, so we're going to just clip it on one side here. And we're going to strip a little bit of this wire off. Okay, we're going to thin this piece of wire here. And we're going to take the other side, pull it back. And we will strip this one. And we'll twist the strands together. some flux here. And I'll turn this wire here. Okay, here is the fuse block. You can get it at a Radio Shack. Okay, we're going to put a little flux on the end of the wire here. And again on this one. And what we're going to do is call the drop solder. So we are going to go and put, we're going to clean the tip again. We're going to put some solder on our tip. Okay, now we're going to put solder. Bring this insulation back slightly, and we're gonna put some solder on that. See how nice and clean that is. So that's gonna go down in here. Now we're gonna take this side.
and we're going to put some solder on our iron here. And we're going to put it in the hole again like this. We did put a little flux on this here. So there's the top, and there's the bottom. The holes are all nice and filled in. And now we're ready to screw it down here into the chassis. And now we're going to take care of the wire dress here. Okay, this is the ground wire coming back. And this one was in here originally, so we're going to just take and go around all these and bring it back up so it's all nice and closed up. And it's out of the way of the screws. Okay, now we're going to put the fuse in. Okay, there's the front of the unit. It is the uh, SCT-41. And we'll go up and look over the top inside. Now it does have overcurrent protection for uh, fire safety. Thanks for watching.